Yes, it's the legendary Josh Wolf, as seen on the internet with my trusty sidekick and son. Rod. Word. Okay, we're going to show you now uh, how to do your very first spell in Magic Craft. So you come into your spell book, click on New Spell. Now, here's the thing about this. Do you know about how you can change the name of the function or the spell? So you can change the name here. You knew about that? Yeah. And that changes the name in here, so that's the name of the function. Um, so if I want to do my first spell, something like that, it changes it in both places. Oh. Did you know that? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So here's the thing about it, it's a function, that's a keyword, and you notice that the keywords here have become blue. It's automatic syntax highlighting. So you've got a constant up here, magic, it's magiccraft.io, it's where you get your magic craft from, and here's your function. So a function has the keyword function, then it's got the name of the function here. Right? Then you've got the uh, the yellow parens or braces, brackets. And then you've got the green curly curly braces. And there, that's the body of the function. So from there to there, that's what's inside the function. Right? The function body, that's called. Yeah? So we'll make the real most basic one, right? The, the hello world function. You know how to do like a hello world kind of thing? Yeah. Like what? Um, magic dot Hello world, okay. And we'll put a semicolon at the end. So yeah. semi do you know semicolons are optional? Why do you put them? Why do you put them? Because there are some cases where because what happens is that the the JavaScript compiler will automatically add them at the end of every line. Mm -hmm. Now there's one special case where you'll need it, right? It's if you do this. See so if I do that and then Let's say I wanted to return A. Like if I do this, right? That yeah. is not the same thing as that. Reason being that the compiler will put the semicolon in there. There's a couple of other cases. So it'll what do you think it will return? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's a trick for young players. There's a couple of other kind of cases that do it as well that are kind of weird, but it's just best to put them in. Yeah, just to put them in. And um, that's what you need to do. Um, and then you just click on Save Spell. Like that. So what happens is when you go into Magic Craft and you go cast, you know, whatever, and start this thing up. When you go cast My First Spell, just like it says here, Save Spell again. Go to Minecraft and type cast my first spell. It'll run this function and it'll run whatever's inside the function body. It'll actually run it'll actually run anything outside the function body too. Um, let's see, we go here and then we'll launch this pretty intense soundtrack. Logging in. Hello world. So, do you know how to do passing parameters? No. So, if you have a function, and then you see the yellow braces there? Yeah. This is where you can take in parameters, like take arguments. So, if we wanted to say name, right? I'm going to pass in a name. And then what you can do is you can go, instead of saying hello world, you can do this, okay? You can go hello plus name. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Yo, what's up? This thing's taking ages to log in, man. Yes. Cancel. Play offline. I've actually got an offline testing server. Really? Yeah. You have to set it up? Or... Um, no. I won't keep it up forever, so I don't mind putting it into a video. It's just for testing right now, and get shut down soon. So I, if I wanted to play offline, could I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can play offline. Yeah. You need the latest version of the Magic Craft Launcher, version 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. So, let's have a look. Um, what version am I running? Where'd it go? 1.1. <laughs> 
Actually, if I'm playing offline, I've got to change my name. Let's have a look here. Is it product placement? <laughs> product placement. So there's another couple of ways you can do that, right? I'm going to close this one. I'll reopen the other one. So you know how we're doing here this hello plus name? What do you think that'll do if we pass in like a name of some kind? It'll just do hello plus whatever you type in now. Yeah. Good call. Quit. Mm. Wow, look at this, man. This activity thing's pegging out at max. It's closing this stuff down. Oh, I know why it's doing it. I'm publishing one video to the internet and recording another one at the same time. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, let's cancel this. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm publishing our earlier video that we made. Cancel, 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 cancel. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So that's the cause of that taking so long. Um, okay. So if we're in here and... You can see I'm using version 1.1. So I cancel out of this and we'll restart it because... To play offline, I've got to put my name in, instead of my email and my login details. Okay. Yeah, watch this. Okay, so in here, I go, um, oh, did I not get, do I not get to choose? Ah, oh, here we go. So in here, I put it in here, I put my name in there, and then I say play offline. Like that. Yeah, that's how you do it. So it's going to launch offline. So yeah, this will print out my name. Uh, or a name, it's a parameter, so it's not going to literally say name, it's a variable, right? Yeah. So let's take it out of here, right? And then if I put it in here, so we'll say const, we we'll use it as a constant, and we'll say name equals what? What do you reckon? Use double quotes. Prelard, like that, right? So what do you reckon that will do? Yeah. Say hello, Prelard, and we can change that to anything that we want, right? Uh, 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 so we're going to be playing offline. Yep, we're doing the offline version. Probably it couldn't log on before because I was trying to upload a video to YouTube. Like it's like a one gig video or something. It's 30 minutes long. It's that one that we did earlier today. Okay, so we'll go to other servers and the other server will just go direct connect. So, yeah. You're, you're, you're playing offline. No connection refused. Must have shut down or something. Let's try this. Um, okay, I'm on here. I got R perps. No, I don't even need to do that. Let's go. Magic craft host perpster.magiccraft.io status. And tell us what's happening on that server. Ooh. Yeah. Nice hot drink to keep us warm. It's uh, winter here in Brisbane, but as you can see, winter in Brisbane doesn't really mean that much. Um, maybe that machine is like completely down. I think it might be. Let's try this. We'll try pinging it. Perpster.magiccraft.io. Oh, yeah, that's my server. Yeah, no, it's up. It's running. But why is it not, um, why is it not responding? Oh, actually, I got disconnected from that machine. Wow, broken pipe. Okay. The weirdest thing. Okay, workspace go learn server compose, magic craft, host, hipster, dot magic craft, dot io, status. Such a simple thing, you want to try and do a hello world spell, next thing you know, debugging servers. It's the word of programming. Exited 39 hours ago. Um, oh, I know what happened. Yeah, man. What? There was a, um... Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So, memory. We're going to run it with 1024. We're going to run it in offline mode. We're going to run it in API mode creative. Do we need anything else? I think we do. Start, let's try that. Missing the tag. Yeah. 
to run the development version. Yeah, um, that's right. There was a big shutdown of all the servers on IBM Softlayer, and they rebooted them all because of a, um, I think, critical vulnerability in the hypervisor, something like that. Okay. Yeah. And so when it's rebooted, it just hasn't. Um, it takes 15 seconds for it to come up. Okay. So let's go back here. Without being able to run the code, um, if I put this here, I put my name, C to party, Josh. What do you think it's going to say? Josh. It's going to say hello, Josh. Yeah. But the thing is, every time you run the spell, it's fixed what it's going to say. Yeah. We have made it into a variable, but it's still hard coded, right? Yeah. So the way that you turn it into a parameter is you put it in here which means that you're going to be passing something into the function that's going to be referred to by that label name. So in here, I can refer to it as name. Yeah. Okay. So you put like, if name, name equals... Yep. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. You want to do that? So let's try this first, and then we'll do a conditional. Okay, it's kind of booting, but it's, it's a bit slow. So you want to do a conditional if yeah. name equals something. If name equals Bob and say X. Okay. So what do you want to make it say? So if name and then double equals, we'll make it triple equals, yep. Provide, yep. Then say what? hello Bob. Okay. Well, or it's gonna say hello Pollard anyway, right? Something different. Yeah, like what do you want it to say? I don't know. You, you write something. Well no, come on, you come up with something. Oh, I'm like, hey, how was your day? Hey, how was your day? Hey, how was your day? Okay, cool. So, now the thing is that it's also going to say that as well, right? Do you want yeah. it to also say that? No. You want it to not say that. Okay, so, else, so otherwise, we put this inside that function body here. Like that. Yeah. Save that. My first spell. Sounds happening. <coughs> Man, it's like downloads disappear from this thing. I'm using Podbean. And you can download podcasts, but it's, it's like once you listen to them, they disappear. Weird. Connection reset by here. Direct connect. Let's try again. Loading the terrain. So, wait for the modules to load. Yeah. Mm -mm. Loading the modules, they're loading. Oh, it says I'm C to putty underscore. Okay. What if you put like an invalid symbol for the offline label? Uh, for your name? Yeah. What kind of invalid symbols are there for usernames? Oh really? Yeah. I don't know, I've never tried it, man. Probably mess things up for you. Now I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect. <laughs> Let's go. Direct connect. Join the server. Oh. Eventually. Yeah, it's forcing me to re-log in. Now the reason for that is that I'm using a version of the launcher that puts an underscore at the end of your name. Yeah, why would you do that? Uh when you're playing offline, Hippie wanted me to do that. Okay, I've reassociated, so now I can rejoin. Direct connect, join. Goodness, if it's not one thing, it's another, hey? And there's a lot of errors you can get while burning servers. Oh, yeah, man. Así es la vida. That's the way life is. Okay, loading the terrain. Okay, see the puppy underscore join the game. Loading modules. Aha, see? It's now it's updating my modules because it's recognized me. But does it work playing offline with no internet? Or you can only use spells then? Nah, yeah, you've got to have some internet. It's got to be some kind of internet. Yeah. So um, I'm going to cast my first spell, right? My first spell. Okay. Engine reloader, let's try it again. Hello, undefined, hello, undefined. Mm -hmm. Why is that? 
Yeah, that's right. So if I say Josh, hello Josh. Let's see. <laughs> cool, huh? So you got a so you got two things. You got like a um a parameter, a variable, a parameter, and a um also a conditional. But here I'll show you something else about this, right? Let's go back to making it a pretty simple one. So we're going to go magic.dixit and then we're going to say hello name, right? Now you can use double quotes or you can use single quotes. And I kind of switch between the two, which ones I prefer to do. So we're going to do like this, right? Hello name. Save that. Now I'll show you two things that we can do. Direct connect. The first one is, you know how we got hello undefined? Yeah. Yeah. So we're loading modules and we're going to go cast my first spell. Installing the module, so it's going to come back. It's going to say I installed a bunch of modules. I got a few of them in there, and it's going to reload my engine. Once the engine's reloaded, then we can run the spells. Okay. Now, see how it says hello undefined? Yeah. Okay. The first thing is, um, we can give what's called a default parameter initializer. So if it doesn't get one, we can say that it will be what? What should we say? Yeah. Stranger. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Got to double tap my left command to stop it from doing that. Stranger. Like that, right? Yeah. So if I say save the spell, now when I go back, watch this. Hello, stranger. Whereas, yeah. Oh, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It's an ES6 feature called default parameter initialization. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, now I'll show you something else that's called. This is called object, um, no, literal string templates, I think it's called. Watch this. I changed the single quotes for back tick. Right? Back tick? Yeah. Now what I can do is this. Take that out, and then I go dollar curly brace name. Like that. So what that'll do is it'll replace the dollar, the stuff that's in there with the variable of the same name. Right? Okay. So if I save that spell, now it'll just behave exactly the same way once I reconnect. Connecting to the server, loading the terrain, kicking me off. <laughs> Maybe eventually. I don't know, maybe everyone using the internet at the same time over here. Okay, installing the modules, package JSON updated, it's going to install my modules, then it's going to reload my engine. Give it a second. It's going to say install a bunch of modules. Yep, reloading the engine. Okay, now if I cast, double tap my left command because it keeps doing that funny thing. My first spell. Now, Hello stranger, or if I say Prolard here, I'll say hello Prolard. Yep. Oh. And that's from this code here now. See it's still one line, but I've got like a default parameter initializer and then that string template. See the other way that you would do this is you would say if there's no name, right? Then name equals stranger. Double tap the left command because it's gone into that weird mode. Don't know why it does that, man. I've Strange. Never had that happen. Never. But you're on a Windows machine. This happens on a Mac. Windows Master. Right. Um. So yeah, this default parameter initializer does the same thing as that. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about doing it yourself. I think it's just a much more um, compact syntax. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So there you go, my first spell, Hello World, with a couple of kind of variations.